So then, this is my solar powered Bitcoin farm. These are two 220 watt panels which go through here to this charge controller. The charge controller charges two large banks of batteries, 640 amp hours, 12 volts, uh, sealed lead acid. The charge, contro the charge controller also turns on this relay panel. The relay panel turns on the main power to this large pure sine wave inverter. Pure sine wave inverter sends the power down that cable out the shed. Along the garden along here, up the wall, and into the garage. It arrives in the garage, comes up this panel here, to a normal 3-pin distribution with an energy meter. It tells me I'm currently using 353 watts. And it goes through the meter, up the white cable, and into this. My solar power automatic transfer switch. This switches the load between mains and solar using some big contactors and a generator control module. This box is also linked to the mains. The mains goes into the box as well. Normally this will select solar. However, if the solar switch is off because the batteries have run out or I just don't want it to cycle that much today, it flicks the load across to the mains power as well. The power comes out of this plug socket out of this plug socket, up this cable, along here, to a normal plug strip, which goes to a power supply, and the power supply goes to my Bitcoin miner. The Bitcoin miner goes to the internet, and that's how I make Bitcoin using mostly solar power, but with mains backup.